Well, you could call it part memoir, part public policy manual. It's former Mayor Rahm Emanuel's new book. CBS 2's Jim Williams reports it's also a defense of his controversial two terms at City Hall. When they asked Churchill, how do you think history will treat you? And Churchill said, very well. And they go, how do you know? He goes, I plan on writing it. <laughs> Rahm Emanuel's new book, The Nation City, is not a complete history of his tumultuous eight years as mayor, but you could call it a response to his many critics. So when you left office and you thought about writing this book, were you thinking about settling scores? No. I mean, first of all, I started writing it two years ago, and I don't do that. I talk about things that I think are relevant. I talk Emanuel about cites I a number of his successes. We've set up a pre-K to college model. Bronzeville is an example where we are now, has a Mariano's, the largest capital investment with the Red Line South development. As examples of what cities can do at a time he says the federal government is retreating from the lives of average Americans. I think uh, mayors bring a unique skill set that scratches the public's itch for government that is relevant. And now they do a uh, job training here. Now a television commentator, op-ed writer, and author, the former mayor clearly wants to retain his public voice. But there's been a backlash, primarily over his handling of the Laquan McDonald case and police misconduct. He lost a gig at the Atlantic Magazine. And there was something of a rebellion among some of the staffers and some of the contributors. In fact, one person writing about it said, we shouldn't listen to anything that Rahm Emanuel <laughs> has to say. I think the issue of Laquan McDonald we came face to face, made changes. I spoke fully to the city council about what needed to be done and took accountability for it. Rahm Emanuel has had some big jobs. The one he left last year tops the list. Senior advisor to President Clinton, in the congressional leadership, chief of staff to President Obama. Put all those together, they don't even measure being mayor. Don't come close. In promoting his book, the former mayor invited interviewers to meet him at locations that emphasize his successes, new public libraries, the Whole Foods in Englewood, and today's backdrop, the headquarters of the IBEW union, which built, rebuilt an old school at Emanuel's urging. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. All right, Jim, thank you.